Another moment of your time, Gustav. Yes, sir. There was a lovely young woman speaking to Herr Lorraine in the library. Who was she? Uh, that's Helene, Alessandra's sister. Ah, I thought there was a resemblance. Tell me more about Helene. If I can. What information do you need? Is Helene older than Alessandra? Younger? One year younger, but she is older in many ways, if you understand me. You really could be more specific. Alessandra, oh, she loves life, people, pleasure. Helene, uh, she is serious, like an old woman. Of course, such a personality is very admirable. Yes, I can see you're flushed with admiration. Are Helene and Alessandra close? Uh, no. They have very different interests in life. Thank you, Gustav. You are most welcome. Would you mind if I ask some more questions? If you must. Alessandra has a sister, Helene. What can you tell me about her? Helene is a remarkable young woman. There's something about her. She'll go far in politics. You can quote me on that. Helene likes politics? Oh, yes. If you ever heard her argue with me, you wouldn't doubt it. We may not see eye to eye on the issues, but I respect her enormously. Excuse me for a moment, Herr Lorraine. Yes, of course. Mr. Walker. Yes, sir? Alessandra keeps taking her cell phone out of her purse. I need to get my hands on it and find out what's on there. Right. If you distract her, I can lift it from her purse. So you object to flirting but not pickpocketing? I was in the military, sir. <laughs> well, far be it from me to argue. Fine. Just be ready. I believe I will. Excuse me. I was going to ask if those doors lead to- Oh, my gown! Oh, it's ruined. I'm so sorry. That was terribly clumsy of me. I'm sure it was not intentional. Pardon me. I must change. Très galant. It worked, didn't it? Give me the phone. This cell phone belongs to Alessandra Lorraine. I wonder who Alessandra is angry with. If I can get her to go to that meeting, maybe I can find out. There. That should get unknown to the meeting. Now I just need to convince Alessandra to go. She wants some sort of apology. Would you mind if I ask some more questions? If you must.
I heard someone use the term three gongs. Do you know what that means? It refers to the grandfather clock in the hall. It chimes three times at half past the hour. Excuse me for a moment, Herr Lorraine. Yes, of course. That's better. It looks like a bouquet now. I'll write a message on the ribbon. What should I say? Forgive me. That should do it. They've kept the original chandelier, but replaced the candles with modern replicas. It's a reminder of the past's grandeur, I suppose. I'll leave this bouquet where Alessandra can stumble across it. The bait is set. Now to wait for Alessandra to take it. That must be the three gongs mentioned in that text to Alessandra. I still haven't entirely forgiven you, Gustav. You know you were flirting with the caterer. I saw it. Tell me you didn't mean it. That you love only me. <laughs> You're the one who is married. But you know I don't sleep with Carl. It's not the same. You're jealous of everyone, Liebling. Oh, I can't help it. I'm crazy about you. Hmm, we'd better go. It's almost time for the party. I can be late. I can't. I have to answer the door, my sweet. Come on. Well, that was an interesting data point. I have enough data on Alessandra to make an analysis.
I'm sure Alessandra is not Livia Drusilla. But I want to look around a little more before I finalize my report. There's something else here. I can feel it. But I need to touch her hand to be sure. Pardon me? Yes? I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Malachi Rector. I'm with the U.S. Embassy. I am Helene Benedot. So pleased to meet you. It looks like this will be quite the party you're hosting. It should be a pleasant evening, but I can't take any credit. My sister Alessandra hosts the parties. She enjoys it. And you? Surely you enjoy it as well. It usually provides me with some interesting conversation, yes. Tell me about Alessandra Lorraine. What about her? You're Alessandra's sister? Yes, I am. Tell me about Alessandra. My sister is very much as she appears. Perhaps you should get to know her for yourself. But you might do better to speak to her husband, Herr Lorraine. He's a fascinating man. Does Alessandra always sleep with the help? Who are you? What business is it of yours? It was a simple observation. I would ask you to keep it to yourself, if I could trust you to do so. Carl doesn't need any more scandal. I have no intention of telling anyone. Then why did you tell me? What do you want? Good question. Will you be having an escort join you this evening? No. Then you must be single. It's hard to imagine a lover would allow you to attend such a function alone. You are very forward. But I don't believe in jealousy. Either both people understand what they're getting out of the relationship or they don't. Jealousy serves no purpose. I quite agree. Excuse me, please. Goodbye, Mr. Rector. Helene is not happy with me at the moment. If I try to touch her now, she's liable to smack me. You dropped your glove. Oh, I didn't realize. Would you allow me the honor of putting it on? No, I don't think so. Very well. I apologize for upsetting you earlier. I do have a tendency to blurt things out. Of course, I won't mention what I saw between Alessandra and Gustav to anyone. I would appreciate that. I hope you are sincere. I worry about Carl, Alessandra's husband. He has had a difficult year. I saw you checking on on Herr Lorraine earlier. I hope he's not too unwell. He improves daily, but we're still quite worried about him, of course. It must be difficult. I trust with the care of his family, he will soon be in excellent health. Thank you. I do appreciate hearing that. Mr. Rector? Ugh. Is he all right? Yes, I knew it. What is the matter with him? Uh, he gets headaches. It's all right. Nothing to worry about. I'll 
I'll be downstairs if you decide you need help. What happened? You okay? I saw her. Livia Drusilla. It's Helene. Wow. You're sure? Yes, but I need proof. I'm going to do some digging, see if I can get into her room. You go to the party and keep an eye on her. We need to guard her until Dexter takes over. Right. I'll watch over her. Good luck. Instinct tells me Helene is Livia Drusilla, but I need data to back it up. I need to learn more about her and prove my intuition. Positive pregnancy test. Helene is pregnant. That's highly suggestive. I'll take this with me. It's an important data point. These pictures are an unusual choice for a young woman. Helene seems to have a fascination with deep space. This magazine seems important to Helene, but I'm not sure why. Perhaps she's interested in the summit. Euro 3 Conference, Markham keynote speaker. If that's Senator Markham, then Helene is about to meet him. Interesting. Three months. That could relate to Helene's pregnancy. I think I'll take this with me. Looks like you can connect a device to the telescope. 